Hi, I'm the uh, author and creator of this new channel dedicated to mixed martial arts and boxing. My name's Tom Hannigan. Um, this is the Japanese phenomenon, Naoya Inoue, Inoue, and this is um, a three division ex world champion uh, called John Riel Casimero. A lot of people are slightly curious why uh, Inoue doesn't fight Casimero. Um, Inoue is scheduled to fight Sam Goodman, the Australian boxer, in Japan on December the 24th. But it could easily have been uh, Casimero. So the question is, why not? Okay, this is Casimero defending two of his belt, two of his titles, two of his belts. And this is um, Casimero dispatching an opponent. Now this is uh, a record of his, uh, a fighting record of Casimero. It's quite impressive. Okay, he obviously wins his first world title, the world flyweight title, by beating the Argentinian Lazate. This was uh, an amazing match. I mean, it's difficult to say whether it's actually a, a boxing match or not. There seems to be a lot of actual criminal violence in the actual contest. Um, at the end of the event, the um, when the Argentinian lost his world flyweight title, all of his fans rioted. And in fact, Casimero and his team were lucky to get out of the auditorium alive, really lucky to get out alive. So he beats world champion number one. He then beats Guevara, another world champion. He then beats uh, another world champion, Salguero. And let's look at the more recent um, opponents. Right, okay, uh, Rowan Roig, ex-world champion, was definitely a world champion. Um, Charlie Edwards was a world champion, ex-world champion. Um, Tete was a world champion. Uh, Rigondo was a world champion. Uh, and of course, Oguni was a world champion. So you see recently, he's actually uh, fought uh, an ex-world champion, which is quite remarkable. And in his last match, he, recently he beat uh, the, the American bantamweight, uh, Saul Sanchez by uh, First round knockout, which is quite remarkable. So John Riel Casimero is a three division world champion. He experienced a meteoric rise, followed by a steep decline in his boxing career, compounded by personal choices and health issues. So he was a three division world champion, peaking with his 2019 victory over Tete. As we just noticed, his 2012 fight with Lazati ended in chaos due to a riot highlighting the dangers of boxing abroad. Um, but before the Lazati contest, he'd actually lost his brother. I think under different circumstances, he might have actually withdrawn from the contest, but I don't think he and his team had enough money to pay their hotel bills or to return home to the Philippines. So um, he had no choice but to take the fight. He did have this unbeaten streak in 2019. Now he was scheduled um, to have a fight to find the a challenger to Inouye's title. But what he actually did is he, he entered into some illegal weight cutting strategies. You can't use a sauna to lose weight. And um, he, he filmed himself on YouTube actually uh, doing exactly this. So as soon as the authorities looked at the YouTube record and discovered that he'd been using a sauna to lose weight, uh, they withdrew him from the contest. So he lost the opportunity to challenge Inouye for his world titles. And of course, um, the person who went on to unsuccessfully challenge um, Inouye was the English fighter, Paul Butler. So these chaos of riots and fighting auditoria, um, filming himself, you know, doing illegal weight cutting, um, this has led to a great non-stability. He's damaged his own trajectory. Now, you could argue that in 2024, he's working to stabilize himself to get back into a position to challenge Inouye. Um, just to, to point out, which I should have done, that in actual fact, Inouye and Casimero were scheduled to fight during the COVID pandemic, but obviously they were going to be fighting in, uh, in a ring where there were no punters, fans looking, watching on, Therefore, there was no financial structure to such a fight. Um, even the hotel bills would have been almost impossible to pay. So um, there was some question mark about whether the fight would take place. 
Inouye was generous in terms of cutting down his actual expected purse, but there was no agreement. So what can we say? Um, talented fighter, Casimero, missed opportunities. But this issue of the YouTube is, is very interesting. Now, um, many boxers, really serious professional boxers, would see themselves firstly preeminently as professional boxers, and then they may have a YouTube channel. Um, many people feel that Casimero sees himself as a YouTube star who also box. And this is the personality and the set of circumstances that he projects. And I think that's the reason why Inouye and his team are kind of really reluctant to commit to um, a match with this guy. You know, they, they'd want to commit 10, 12 weeks to a training camp, but they'd want to know with certainty their opponent's going to turn up. I think there's a slight question mark about that in the minds of Inouye and his father.